So it has been a couple of years now since the Canon 6D Mark II came out, which was the successor for the original 6D. But if you are a photographer or a videographer starting out and you are wondering if this camera is for you, then that's what this video is about. Let's find out if the 6D Mark II still holds up in today's standard. Let's get started. The Canon 6D Mark II, which was released back in 2017, was to be a more affordable full-frame option for Canon users who didn't want to pay the high price tag for the Canon 5D series. With its 26.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, Digit 7 image processor, and a native ISO range of 100 to 40,000, this camera is built to perform in a variety of shooting conditions. For the build quality, the Canon 6D Mark II is robust yet lightweight. It features a polycarbonate and aluminum body with a comfortable deep grip, making it easy to hold for extended periods. On the sides are the speaker, the mic input, micro USB and HDMI out port. At the front are the regular Canon buttons, as well as the photo and video switch. The D-pad, which also doubles as the dial for controlling the aperture of the lens, and its lock right underneath. At the top are the on-off switch, the mode dial, the top screen, and a bunch of other buttons. The bottom houses the quarter inch mount and a battery compartment. Speaking of batteries, the Canon 6D Mark II uses the LPE6N battery, which is an 1800 mAh lithium ion battery. Since the 6D Mark II is a DSLR, the camera sensor has a mirror sitting right in front of it. One of the standard features of this camera is the fully articulatory 3 inch touchscreen. And that is a game changer for both vloggers and photographers who like to shoot at very unconventional angles. The touchscreen is not only responsive, but also very intuitive, making menu navigation and focusing a breeze. Note that the 6D Mark II supports only Canon's lineup of full-frame EF lenses, indicated by the red dot here. And for that, unfortunately, any RF or EFS Canon lens for crop sensor cameras like the 10 to 18 millimeter F3.5 to 5.6 lens I have here, would not fit on this camera. If you're interested in the 10 to 18 millimeter wide lens review, that will be up in the cards here or down in the description below. Now onto image quality. Arguably the most important feature on every camera. The 6D Mark II's 26.2 megapixel sensor delivers excellent detail and dynamic range, especially in well-lit conditions. The color reproduction is classic Canon vivid and accurate at every shot. And just like every Canon camera, the color reproduction is much preferred as compared to other camera brands. But in dim environment, that is where this camera struggles a lot. And even though you can extend the ISO range, unlike the newer mirrorless cameras coming out these days, extending the ISO really gets you a lot of noisy images as opposed to the mirrorless cameras which are very good at getting rid of that. The autofocus system on this camera is also another highlight. With 45 cross type AF point and Canon's dual pixel autofocus technology, focusing is fast and reliable. And for the video shooters out there, the Canon 6D Mark II offers a 1080p at 60 frames per second max output for video footages. And while it doesn't shoot in 4K, because it is a full frame sensor, shooting 1080p is very good. And we all know how impressive Canon's dual pixel autofocus is. On the Canon EOS RP and the M50, I made a review about, which you can find more up here or down in the description below. On the 6D Mark II, it is also impressively great. The flip out screen is also a huge plus for vloggers and solo creators who need to see themselves while filming. And although I do not have the 6D Mark II with me here, since I'm shooting on the Nikon Z5, I still have to monitor my screen using my smartphone because it doesn't have that flipper screen. In terms of connectivity, the 6D Mark II comes with built-in Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth, which makes it a lot easier to transfer your photos and videos to your smartphone or tablet. It also supports remote shooting like what I'm doing right now using the Canon Camera Connect app. So who is this camera for? Well, if you're a photographer who is looking for a versatile full-frame camera from Canon, then this is one to go for. It is durable and quite impressive for an old camera like this one. And for the fact that it is a full frame camera, putting an 85 millimeter lens on it will make all your portraits look very nice. And if at any point you want to switch to live view using the screen on the back, 
you can shoot just like how mirrorless cameras are doing these days. And for the video shooters out there, having that flip out screen, seeing yourself whilst you are filming is also an impressive deal. However, if 4K videos are important to you, then this is not the camera to go for. Yes, it has a flip out screen to see yourself when filming, but I notice it doesn't come with a headphone jack. So it becomes a lot difficult to monitor your audio whilst on set. And seeing that this is within the same price range as the cheapest full frame mirrorless camera from Canon, the Canon EOS RP, it makes it a lot difficult to recommend this camera. So if video is very important to you or you're someone who shoots hybrid photos and videos at the same time, then I will recommend you get the Canon EOS RP. It shoots in 4K, it also has the flip out screen, it is a mirrorless camera, meaning autofocus is going to be a lot faster, especially in photo mode. It is a newer camera, which is using newer technologies and the RF line of Canon lenses. So in other words, it's much more future proof. But with that said, I'll still leave a card up here to the Canon EOS RP review and also linked in the description below for you to pretty much balance between the two and see which one best fits your need. So in conclusion, if your main focus is for photography, then the Canon 6D Mark II is one to go for. But if you're a hybrid shooter looking at both photo and video, or more specifically video, then get the Canon EOS RP instead. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and other channels which I have them linked below. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Fino Concepts. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.